Thank you very much. Mark Dean from Bloomberg News. You're very kind. Um, you, you, you started to say something that you, maybe you never in said French. today. In, in, in French. French, yes. Yeah. Uh, je n'ai jamais dit... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no. I wanted to say that uh, uh, I had a TV broadcast yes. Yes. with a public Senate. So you will see what I have said in any case because they are, uh, they are broadcasting that 11 times. I never said the IMF intervention would be uh, this and that. I didn't say that. I always said we must have the maximum responsibility from the government's member of the euro area. And as far as the IMF, I always said we have very good uh, respect for the expertise of the IMF. We were with the IMF in Athens. We have worked with the IMF in Athens. But I wanted to preserve the responsibility of the government's member of the Eurea. That is my compass, if I may, and I consider it is respected. Yeah. Arthur Beasley from the Irish Times. What did you think when you heard that Dr. Merkel had suggested that maybe the time had come to start thinking about a procedure by which countries would leave the Eurozone? Well, you know my position because I I was always crystal clear on that. uh, And I was crystal clear long before it was uh, was said by by, uh, the uh, uh, Kanzlerin. So I didn't change my position in this respect. Monsieur Trichet, uh, Monsieur Van Rompuy a rappelé la décision aujourd'hui. Uh, Mr. Van Rompuy today reminded us of the decision uh, taken by the European est, Central Bank. Vous n'en my pas, c'est pas tellement important question is, why aren't you Rompuy talking about suggère. it? Is it not Et so important as Mr. Van Rompuy suggested? And was that decision taken at the request of heads of government? Non, n'a pas été prise à la demande des chefs no, it wasn't taken at the request of heads of government. Because I announced that this morning at the plenary session of the European Parliament. So it's completely independent from the decision taken by heads of state and government. The Board of Governors of the European Central Bank uh, believe that this was a decision that was justified in the circumstances. And I w- was providing, uh, I wish to provide technical details on that decision, as I indicated to the European Parliament at the next meeting of the governing board of the ECB. So that will be on my co- press conference on the 8th of April. <laughs> Microphone, please. Je, je m'en tiens à ce qu'ils ont écrit. Merci. I would stick to what they have written. Sébastien Maillard, La Croix. Le, le regroupe a convenu aussi que le Monsieur Van Rompuy pourrait faire un travail pour réfléchir à l'un des autres mécanismes pour renforcer la transparence budgétaire. Il y a aussi des autres façons de renforcer le budget de supervision. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez de cette proposition de task force Je crois, et c'est un, un élément extrêmement important, This is an extremely important uh, part of today's discussions. Uh, we have always defended the Growth and Stability Pact. J'ai dit moi-même que dans UEM, IMU, il y avait un M. said myself that in EMU there is both an M for monetary union, we, and we are the ones responsible for the monetary union. We have preserved price stability over the first 11 Uh, over the first 12 years of the euro, we have preserved price stability in a remarkable way. I think I, I can... Um, I can say we have uh, stuck to our definition of price stability, which is as close to 2% as possible. The E bit is the economic union, and this has a a hard core, which is the monitoring of budgetary policy and the rigorous implementation of the Growth and Stability Pact. You may be aware that in the past, the um, Growth and Stability 
Security Pact came in for a lot of criticism and there were even some countries who wanted to dismantle it. I, I stood up for it. In the end, 2003, 2004, 2005, myself and my colleagues defended the uh, Stability and Growth Pact as being the essential economic part of the economic and monetary union. So I am pleased to see that uh, heads of state and government uh, have agreed that we need to step up our vigilance and that we need to reinforce our capacity to monitor, to have ex ex exhaustive peer review, peer monitoring. In EMU, you have monetary union and economic union that we always defended the Stability and Growth Pact as a key element, the other side of the coin of EMU. We are responsible for monetary union, and I think we are doing the job with great determination, but we have also the economic union. And the, the core, the hard core of economic union is the surveillance of the uh, policies, in particular the surveillance of the fiscal policies.